<laughs> well, it's a good endorsement for uh, Lost Giants. Now, uh, <laughs> the shit is delicious. <laughs> Oh! <laughs>
And then he left after a little while, as people do, they just grow out of it. And we've been through a few bass players since, but Tim's great. He's been rocking with us since late 2018, 2019. Brent Ma on saxophone, he's an absolute legend. And he's been around the same time as Tim, 2018, 2019. Mike Allen on Barry Sax has been around since right at the start of the pandemic, we hired him and it was great. He's like, man, this is gonna be so fun. <laughs> Ah, that was two years with no gig. But, but he's an absolute trooper and he stayed in, stayed in with us, came to all the rehearsals and everything. And Kent Wallace, our trumpet player, he's been in the group for over a decade, probably 15 years now. Unfortunately, he's not with us today. He's got an ailment that he's just working through, but some of my best friends, greatest guys on earth. As a unit, everybody's relaxed and enjoys themselves and tries not to bring any outside stress into it and it's a it's a really nice unit man some of the best guys on earth and i'm, I'm lucky to be a part of it going back to some of your musical roots uh do you remember the first album that you bought your own money oh yeah it was probably fucking mc hammer or some shit <laughs> was it was it on tape yeah it was on tape it was probably what was it too legit to quit or some shit okay. like that yeah yeah nice yeah <laughs> And then the uh, first show you ever went to? The first concerts I ever went to were of bands that you never heard of and were in my local community center. Okay. And I never went to big shows as a young kid. It was just uh, like, I didn't go to big shows. We didn't go to like rock arena shows or anything like that. But every Friday at the community center near our house was like rock night. And we go in in the basement, there was like two kick-ass bands that play there like every Friday night. And we go and just rock and they were like the high school kids. And I was like, you know, grade seven. And, seven or something like that. Yeah, it was cool. And then uh, you drum and you sing. Any tips for other prospective drummers that want to do what you do? Yeah, I don't necessarily sing. So I think it's easier, uh, more of a, treating your mouth as another rhythmical component, right? So it's like I more talk or yell or like host uh, or, or like speak on rhythm. But, uh, but more it's just, you know, if you can put your legs and your arms together, why can't you put your mouth to that as well, right? I don't think I could drum and, and <laughs> sing. But, um, and I watched the Ice Cream Man music video last night, and so I gotta ask, what's your favorite flavor of ice cream? I am into old people's ice cream. Okay. I like like butter pecan and like fucking maple, like whatever, whiskey or something like that, you know? Spoken like a true Canadian. Yeah, salted caramel, yeah. I like old people's ice cream. Hang me out with the 80 year olds, we're good. <laughs> Maple ice cream is really good. It right? is really yeah. good. Yeah, it is really good. For those that have not had it. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I think the uh, inspiration behind being able to play events like this is the, it's the exact same when uh, and comes back to which concerts have I seen. It's like when I was uh, 17, no, 18 years old, uh, I saw Anti Ballast at the Jazz Festival in, uh, in Vancouver. And they were the first like big horn band. I think there was 14 of them on stage and they were, uh, it's a great Afrobeat band. I don't know if you've heard of Andy Bellas, but they're awesome. And that switched my mind into saying, we need horns, I love this. We need horns, we need percussion. Let's do a full thing. And I think being able to participate in events like this and possibly inspire younger people to get into music or to uh, be a part of the musical community and whichever aspect it is, there's so many, is hugely important. And there's been a lot of times in my life where I've been happy, but some of the happiest times when I'm on stage and in environments like this, because you see people's joy and love for each other come together and everybody in the community comes together and enjoys a, a thing kind of as one. And I think that's what these events do for people and they can uplift young people to get into it as well. So it's amazing to be a part of it. Any aspiring live musicians out there? Get the funk in and give it a try, man. It's not a glamorous thing that happens right off the bat, but nothing does. You gotta work hard for it, and if you're game and you wanna have, I don't know, some fun in life and give something a try and do something that involves real good group spirit and community spirit, live music is a wonderful way to go. It's absolutely beautiful. So tell us about some of the songs we're, we're gonna hear tonight and some of your favorites. We got a 90 minute set tonight, so we're gonna play 90 minutes of absolute bangers. It's gonna be heavy duty from front to back. We're gonna play We All Scream. That's a classic, you can't get, you can't take it out of the set. Too many people like it. It's just kind of latched on to our audience. Same with Wash Your Face, which is another like classic vocal driven track of ours. Big Smoke 
which is the uh, title track off our latest record, Big Smoke, obviously. It's an absolute slammer of a track. We're really excited to play it. But generally, I mean, all of them are gonna be absolute smashers. We got four new tunes that we'll put in the set that are unrecorded. That'll be really exciting. That'll be recorded this winter and probably coming out on a new record next year. So people can expect a variety of absolutely smashing, banging, good tunes. All right. So what's one of your favorite places to visit when you're in Bellingham? Yeah, generally when we come here, it's smash and grab, man. Like we come, we set up, we sound check, hang out for an hour or two, and then play the show, and then go crash out or drive back to Vancouver. So I think it was Soy House. There's a Vietnamese spot down the street that we've gone to time and time again, especially the days when we were playing the Wild Buffalo, because we used to play there once, twice a year or something like that. But that was probably the, the mainstay of spots that, that I would always go to and I'd return. And also there's a pizza place right across from the Wild Buffalo. I don't know what that's called, but I'd always smash pizza there. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I'd always get into it. It's such a good pizza spot. Uh, and Bayou, uh, Bayou on Bay. They're providing food for us tonight and we just had a couple drinks on their patio. Absolutely awesome spot to hang. What's next for the band, kind of after Downtown Sounds? Where are you headed for the rest of the month and into August? Yeah, it goes haywire, man. The whole summer's great. Next uh, on Saturday, Wednesday now, on Saturday, we're at Fort Langley Jazz Festival. The weekend after that, we're at Calgary Folk Festival for two days, then Star Belly Jam for a night. Week after that, we're at the Hornby Island Music Festival. Weekend after that, we're at the Five Acre Shaker Festival. Weekend after that, we're at Salmon Arm Roots and Blues Festival. Then we got a weekend off, and then we run around the interior of British Columbia in September and finish off in Fredericton in Canada at Harvest Festival. And then we rip all of Canada from like BC through to Manitoba in October for like a month of touring. Nice, so how many shows in 2023? I don't know, 60? Something like that? I'm just taking a guess, yeah, I have no idea. Right. <laughs> I'm, just plug, I'm just plugging it in there. So Teo, where can people find your music and uh, support you guys? Spotify, search Five Alarm Funk. Bandcamp, Five Alarm Funk. FiveAlarmFunk.com. On Instagram, at Five Alarm Funk. Facebook, you can search Five Alarm Funk. Pretty much any social media app, except TikTok, Five Alarm Funk. <laughs> we're not we're not on TikTok either. <laughs> well Teo, thanks so much for sitting here and interviewing with me. I'm sure you're needed elsewhere here for a little bit. And you gotta gotta wander the Spark <laughs> Museum. Maybe they'll let you play the theremin for a little bit. I would hope so. I just want one of those balls where you stick your finger on it and the electricity hits it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Can I use it in post an eight? Noise. Nice.